Alrighty, we got a new course for you. This one is called Ruffled Feathers Golf Club. We're of course playing GS Pro. We got the Garmin R10 launch monitor in the garage sim space. A hybrid off the first tee. And not the prettiest swing I've ever seen but able to do some sort of yoga there to get the club head on it. Ooh, that was a... That comes up a little short for an opening three putt bogey. Not ideal, but it happens. Second hole, very cool. We got water all the way along the right and then it cuts in. Again, pretty much forcing you to hit some sort of a layup. You don't want to go into this bunker, though. Oof, just staying in the rough. 108. That looks good all the way. And sit. And birdie. Alright, got rid of that opening bogey and we got a clean slate headed to the third par three also a lot of water here at ruffled feathers on the front nine so far that is the correct shot shape oh and it's like two yards deep and two yards left a good swing there though Ooh. Par there, heading over to the fourth, par five, four, five oh two, excuse me. Par on the left hand side now. And uh, I like 13 degree launch. And that's out there, 260, not sure it's. Yep, just laying up, trying to get a good angle in. That's the side I want to be on, but hooking way too much. And now in the rough, downhill, tough pin here, 64. That didn't quite look like enough. And it's not. The swing's looking okay, though. I like some of the action that's happening. A bad drive there, that had to have been Healy or something. Still got a shot though, decent place to miss. Left side with the water right. Playing a very big fade into that pin location. And that was a cool shot. Sitting there. For a par, still at plus one, shorter par five here with like a little notch out fairway, but you want to go right, and you don't want to open the face. Uh, my most recent round outside, I started the round hitting like two dead straight no spin drives, and then I got cocky, and just open the face and open my shoulder over and over and over the rest of the round. I did not aim left enough. And then, you know, I'm, I understand myself a little bit now, so I started aiming super right and, like, think about hooking this. And I did, and I hooked it left, and I was like, oh, my God. It was a little bit frustrating, but I didn't put myself in bad spots, luckily, and never really behind too many trees and stuff so ended up playing an okay round there's a good drive so good it's gonna run through our little bubble our uh, little elbow here 120 is that fading? does that have a chance? 
Not quite, but a good shot from there. You know, plus two. Not a bad score. Certainly the golf is uh, it's working. 167 par 3. Eighth hole. Yeah, I like that. That looked really clean. Lands in the birdie circle. Bounces about a yard away. Spinning backwards. Does it have a chance? No. It's never happened. Watch every video on this channel if you want. You will never see a ball hit the green and the contour of the green bring it into that birdie circle. I might be lying. It might have happened once on my channel. It does not happen very often. It always stops outside. <laughs> a decent drive setting up 184 on a longer par four here and if it hits the green I think it stops and it's just a par it hits the fringe jumps forward a little and we hit the pin one of the rounds I played lately I hit the pin three times I think on chips like that and none of them went down bull crap That just looks like an awkward driver swing. Hanging back. Trying to roll a top hand over while hanging back is like impossible. It ends up looking like that where you put yourself in weird contortion spots. Following that up with a really nice wedge. That does hang on for par. The plus two score heading to the 11th. A short island TPC sawgrass like par three pulled a little bit. I think the yardage looks good though. Oh yeah, yardage was dead on. One fifteen point three is one sixteen to the hole. All right, a little split fairway par four twelfth. Ruffled feathers, by the way, golf club. A really cool course. It's got a ton of character. It's got all kinds of like bunkers and elevation changes, lots of water on the front. Some trees, you're not going to get too much tree trouble here, but um, the rest of the course is set up super interesting, in my opinion. A good go play it. Missing the hole on the wrong side of the pin. And almost getting that one in too, dang. That's a par. Heading over to the 13th, it is a short par five. This should be go time. We're aiming kind of at the elbow. There's no way in hell that a uh, draw comes off that club face, but a perfectly lined up little fade and we'll have 163 in for Eagle. Come on. No, I'm too nervous. There's no way I hit it good. Oh, it is pretty good. Go. Go left. Oh, man, that was clutched up. A yard from an Eagle. A birdie on the card. 271 downhill follows that. There's water everywhere though. So I just went three wood. And I hit it really hard. And it hangs up on the water's edge. Believe it. This for birdie, and I didn't give it enough, guys. Leaving it just a little short. Oh, quick shout out to the viewer who messaged from Thailand. I just think that's really cool. You're able. I saw your message. Now I'm talking to you. Shout out to Thailand. So what I want is a Thailand course because I don't. You. This audience probably knows golf sidekick, the guy who lives out in Thailand and just plays golf all the time. Um, it's beautiful. There's some awesome courses out there. So, shout out to the subscriber in Thailand. And let's find a way 
uh, golf designers, GS Pro people who watch this channel to get a course or two from there on this thing. That was another birdie, guys. Even par on to the 16th. And really, the hybrid off the tee has been a play here at Ruffled Feathers with all the trouble on the right and all the water on the right. Um, it's been shorter clubs off the tee, but pretty successful. That was a weird swing. That was kind of like forcing some positions. It got 10,000 spin out of that bad boy, though, and checks up just left of the hole for another par. Tough par three here. What are the odds? We pull it into the water. Been hitting big banana fades all day. And that is roasted. Hit a no spin knuckler. 40 yards too far. I wish I could call upon that shot on command. It would be so useful to grab a 5 iron and hit it 210. So I know that's a lot of people just hit a 5 iron 210, guys. I get it. Um, but I have to hit it with like 2,000 spin in order to achieve that. All right, one last shot here into the 18th. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell. GS Pro courses, golf sim content coming uh, a lot. Videos every day. Just totally swung across that one. Sent it into the atmosphere. And now trying to find a 24-yard chip. And I knew it was too long. And it's a ending bogey to tick into the 73. Three birdies on the day, though. Those were the yellow tees, which are just under uh, 6,000. I could have probably played the other ones and hit more drivers, but it was kind of fun to take uh, something else off the tee. 34 putts unacceptable. Again, make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you with a new course tomorrow.